2017 North American International Auto Show, Ford reported it is coming back toward the North American medium-sized pickup portion with the Ranger. A year on, the 2019 Ford Ranger is venturing into the light. One could be excused for expecting the Ranger would basically be an Euro Ranger balanced for North American crash and well-being directions, since it's as of now a top-rated nameplate in Europe and the second smash hit truck outside of North America. That isn't the situation. Per Ford engineers, the North American Ranger is just comparative in its measurements. Such a great amount for Alan Mulaise 1 Ford. It's a genuine truck. The Ranger sits on a completely boxed, high-quality steel outline with six cross individuals. Suspension segments of note incorporate a two-fold and arm front suspension and monotone front dampers. Conventional leaf springs and safeguards help control a strong back hub. Power guiding will be electronically helped. This Ranger gets outline mounted steel guards with steel bash plates and tow snares. Two taxi cabin bed choices are accessible, however just a single wheelbase is advertised. Super Cab Rangers will have the more drawn out of the two beds, while Super Crew, full two and three way, Rangers will just get the shorter bed. Metal trim pieces over the wheel wells can be shading coordinated or emphasized with a nice looking attractive dark shading. The rear end, front bumpers, and hood are all aluminum, with regards to one of the F-Series real brand identifiers. Designers say that the Ranger has been tried to an indistinguishable toughness measures from the F-Series trucks. The conventional contention against average size pickups is that they're very little less expensive than full-size trucks, which offer great durability. Following the achievement of GM's renewed Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon, Ford now expects that purchasers of the new Ranger won't be a customary F-Series client. Rather, they plan to bring back previous clients who have possessed Rangers before and, maybe more critically, fresher, more bold clients. There was much discuss the Ranger not simply conveying your enterprise adapt, but rather turning into a piece of it. Marketing talk interpretation, Ford needs purchasers willing to rampage spend on the Ranger since they believe it's cool, regardless of whether they not the slightest bit require a pickup truck. The absence of a stripper demonstrate with plastic wheel well trim pieces persuades that higher volume, bring down benefit armada deals, work truck deals aren't as high of a need. The main motor offered for the North American Ranger will be a 2.3-liter, coordinate-infused four-barrel with a twin-scroll turbocharger. The wrench and bars are produced steel. It will be mated to the 10-speed program with three overdrive gears co-created with the people at General Motors. Four-wheel drive models will get a two-speed exchange case with move-on-to-fly capacities between two high and four high. A Dana track lock raise differential and open front diff are standard, however settling on the FX4 or FX2 rough terrain bundles nets proprietors a Dana electronic locking back diff. Being that few out of every odd new, courageous Ranger proprietor will have much go romping background, Ford intends to offer a couple of bits of tech on the FX bundles to guarantee that proprietors still have a good opportunity to get where they're going, range of abilities be condemned. You need the rough terrain packs, believe us. The FX4 pack brings Ford's terrain management framework, a framework first found on the ultra-proficient Raptor. It has four modes, normal, grass-slash-gravel-slash-snow, mud, ruts, and sand. Grass-slash-rock-slash-snow just numbs throttle reaction. Mud, grooves conveys with it the throttle desensitizing, while likewise tossing the drivetrain into four high for truck stuff. Sand actuates for high, advises the transmission to get the least apparatus conceivable, and unwinds the footing control to permit some wheel slip. Notwithstanding the terrain management tech, a framework Ford calls trail control will make a big appearance on Rangers furnished with the FX4 off-road bundle. Think about this as voyage control mixed with the slope drop control framework. Trail control will enable the driver to set and keep up a low vehicle speed, 1 to 20 miles per hour, while going through not as much as ideal trails while in transit to the following enterprise. Where it contrasts from a voyage control is that squeezing the brake while it's inactive doesn't deactivate it but instead, conveys the journey speed down to whatever the driver eases back to. For times when Ranger proprietors are adventuring to work or on errands, there's adaptive cruise and lane keep help, standard on the best spec trim and discretionary on the XLT trim. Ford Pass Connect will give the Ranger Wi-Fi hotspot capacities, 
guaranteeing that new daring proprietors can present their gutsy ways of life on their most loved web-based social networking outlets, influencing whatever is left of our life to feel uninteresting and drained of Ranger Commendable Enterprise. Passages Blind Spot Information System, standard on XLT and Lariat, will cover trailers. To secure valuable kayaks and scale down airstreams, drivers require just go into the instrument punch and physically input the length of their trailer, 33 feet best, the first occasion when they attach it. The inside is course book for a truck, with a shrewd looking instrument group and commonplace focus stack. Flat components inside the dashboard help to complement the width of the inside. We weren't permitted to move inside, as the models in plain view are pre-production, there's waterproof stockpiling under the second push seating. The Ranger will be accessible in three diverse trim levels XL, XLT, and Lariat and climbing request of cost and included highlights. The FX4 Rough Terrain Bundle will offer overhaul tires, a steel front bash plate, fortified, outline mounted slip plates underneath to secure indispensable drivetrain parts, rough terrain tuned stuns, and the already specified delocking Dana raise differential. The FX2 variation gets the greater part of the above, however just two fueled wheels. Assembling at the Wayne, Michigan plant will start late 2018, with Rangers landing and merchants gazing in mid-2019.